tomorrow's solutions today. Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Ferrocore Free Traders and, of course, to Stellaris, where our ships are continuing to explore the galaxy and, generally speaking, things aren't going too terribly bad. We are still, well, making friends, or rather making trading partners through being friends with people, but it isn't really going as well as I would have hoped, I'll be perfectly honest. We've recently managed to successfully negotiate a war and then kind of being pulled in to bully someone by one of our friends. Let's let's process. not pretend it was anything for other than that. Um, but things aren't looking too bad for us right now. Uh, there we go, got some more physics and engineering points. I really do like the way that, that works. Uh, I would like to cooperate more closely with the Sangwine League. Leaving aside the question of membership, would you consider granting us associate status? Um, I mean, you seem to be um, a generally amiable sort, so very well. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. Uh, which is to give Wasari commerce. Well, I'll give them associate status, so I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Let's let's give everyone. Contact with us that we can. There we go. That should do quite well. Uh, but, but yes, there we go. Ooh, ooh. What's happening here? Uh, ah, right, yes. We had sent our fleet over there to deal with you. Yoko Finn is finally going to clear out that little spot, then we can claim it. We have got many things that we need to claim down here. So many little things. Now, one thing to be aware of, although that looks like a dozen feet, it's not. It's just a symbol for mega structure. It's a ring world. I uh, I completely forgot what the Cybrex gave and got my hopes up massively. Uh, right, okay. Well, this seems to be okay with us for now. Generally speaking, we don't seem to be doing too poorly. Uh, where's La Hyde going? Engaged. Uh, oh no, sorry, La Hoida was dealing with that. Uh, what are we... Really? I can't help but notice that you're about to do something fantastically dumb. Uh, okay, well, I guess, complete. go this way. Look, I know it's not the most direct route, but it is certainly a route that isn't going to result in you dying, at the very least. Uh, they've got... Right, Cybrex Central Nexus. It would seem that the Cybrex re-evaluated the Galactic Crusade against organic life at some point during its 17th year. Whether this change was prompted by losses on the battlefield or an ideological shift in their network consensus, we may never know. But for whatever reason, the Cybrex decided to halt their campaign. They began a slow withdrawal that lasted for nearly a century, until they eventually vanished completely. We now know that they retreated to this system, where they had constructed a massive ring world designed to house their entire civilization. They isolated themselves here for several millennia, until an independent explorer chanced upon their system and spread its location to the rest of the galaxy. The news that the dreaded Cybrex had been found again prompted several neighboring powers to organize a massive military expedition, which bombarded the Cybrex ring world into rubble. Strangely, the Cybrex seemed to have offered no resistance whatsoever. Perhaps they were they were dormant, perhaps, uh, again, if, if there was uh, maybe some sort of ideological shift, then they simply chose not to to retaliate. Perhaps it was kind of along the, the lines of Ender's Game and uh, realizing the terrible atrocities they had visited upon uh, several trillions Incoming. of independent Incoming. consciences, they accepted their fate. We may never know depending on whether or not we get a certain uh, certain end game crisis. Uh, migration Treaty Proposal. Ooh. The Void Ferret people should not be prisoners in the Ferrocorp Free Traders, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let us agree to remedy this. I agree wholeheartedly. Let's get more people. Uh, right, Void Clouds were basically mixed. Yes, indeed they were. Uh, go ahead and... Well, you return for now. I'm not going to have you reinforce yet. I don't think that would be particularly wise. All right, next step. Let's uh, continue to expand out. We are going to want to claim all of these if we can. It's going to take us a little bit more there than I would really honestly like, but we'll see how it goes. Now, do I have a science ship anywhere nearby that isn't busy with something new? You're busy with many things. Um, I'm sorely tempted to get another science ship. I think I'm so tempted, in fact, that I'm going to. Duke, 
Build me a new science ship. Oh, wait. No, we don't do that. I'm not going to have the uh, resources for that. That's fine. We'll have them soon. Well, no, we won't actually. It takes us phenomenal amounts of alloys to get that. We really, really do need Future to upgrade that. That is definitely something that we need to look into. Traditions available, however. Now, we've gone for supremacy, and I'm starting to wish that perhaps we hadn't. Um, let's drop the, the naval capacity... Uh, get our naval capacity to be increased by 20%. We need it. And also drop our ship upkeep. That, no matter how you look at it, was uh, a good return. But mm, still not quite the best thing ever. Ah, actually, you're fairly close by. Go ahead and do the research project in that system and then survey the system. And for now, I really, really just want to mark these systems as restricted. Uh, can I do that automatically from out here? I would think they w there was a way, but perhaps there isn't. Sectors map mode. Oh, we've all automatically got two sectors. Really? Or maybe we've only got one sector. No, no, we've got one sector. Uh, never mind, never mind. They are now automatically added, so... Hyperlanes map mode. Is there a way that I can just restrict these? Uh, oh, well, we'll just have to go through and mark these individually. As being restricted. I don't ever want to have to worry about my ships accidentally thinking, oh yeah, this is going to be so so cool. Such a short route. I am certain the director will be pleased with our efficiency here in cutting several, several months, nay, possibly even years, off our travel time. No, the director will never be happy with that. I mean, you know, in this particular instance, because you'll all die. Why are you still doing it? Why are you so incredibly, incredibly dumb? Go this way. Man. So bad. Okay. Look, it's going to take him a long time. But you're the one who decided to go up through there first. There we are. It'll take a little bit of time to get all of that Combat sorted. Detritus reprocessed. Fantastic. Cleaner galaxy. Let's have a look. An extended period of unrelenting border skirmishes with the Diama Zanian Marauders has hardened our serving naval crews. Their abilities have been tempered in battle, and our forces have even adopted several complex uh, Diama Zanian combat maneuvers that will give them an edge in future conflicts. Wow. Marauder Whetstone modifier added for 120 months, given the following effects. Ship fire rate plus 10. Really? Hmm. Maybe. No, there's absolutely no way. We've got nothing even remotely close to the sort of ship strength we would need to get in there and, and wipe them out. As much as I would like to. This is not happening. Federation Association requires would like to... Oh, yes, absolutely. We would love to have you aboard. Agree. Um, we've got some more research done. Good times. Vote yes. Uh, that one. Cyber Alpha has been fully surveyed. Let's have a glance inside. Now, I believe that once these are repaired, and it's going to take a fantastic amount, unfortunately. Um, I, I'm, I think it's in, in orders of thousands and thousands of alloys. Not minerals anymore. Alloys. We're not doing that for a long time. Uh, on the plus side, though, we do have this all set up. Um, wouldn't be bad to get that. Um, ship fire rate increased by 10%. Orbital bombardment damage increased by 20%. <clears throat> Everything must be brought to bear to the enemy. Victory is to be assured. A swift and decisive attack can paradoxically save lives that would have been needlessly lost in a prolonged engagement. And what else did it save? Say it with me. Profits. Profits are saved by saving lives because then we don't have to, uh, uh, have to pay out uh, insurance to the surviving family. No, no. We we are going to swiftly end any uh, hostile corporate maneuvers. That's uh, fine. Uh, I mean, the more friends we have, the stronger our federation becomes. Significantly stronger. I massively approve of this. Enormously. I wouldn't mind you going and getting a bit of a update though, perhaps. How much trade is moving through the system? Head back out. No, it's still plenty. We're still, we're still fine with that. How about down here? That is way too much. 
Um, I perhaps need to increase Duke's strength a little bit. The problem is that it's already actually a fairly large station. Uh, perhaps what we need to do then is to upgrade you, but oh my lord, the alloy is required. It's, it's, it's painful. It's painful to behold. Perhaps what I can start doing then is maybe we can have a look at the market. Oh, yeah, the galactic market is there. Um, if we wanted to buy alloys... Is this... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind adding a monthly trade. I would like to buy alloys. Uh, max buy price optional. Uh, that's actually quite interesting. I'm going to say I'm willing to buy per month as much as you can afford to send me. I, I mean, I, I could say I'll, I'll buy it at one. And we'll see how that goes. It's not going to happen. So let's not be silly. Uh, in fact, let's drop it down so that we'll buy 20 at two. <laughs> let's see if anyone actually fulfills that. We'll, we'll see. Cannot afford monthly trades. We cannot afford at least one of our monthly market trades and risk being can and at risk being cancelled. Oh, okay. Why is that? Um, I would have said that we could have afforded it. Hmm. Really? Oh, of course, for the twenty percent extra as well. Complete. I guess. Um, Combat detritus reprocessed. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Galaxy. We'll have a have a look at what we can do. Uh, we'll now guarantee the independence of Tyrek Interstellar Hegemony. This is honestly one of the parts that I dislike about being friendly with the loads of people, is the constant, unending notifications of diplomatic stuff moving around. I wish I could perhaps condense them in some way. Uh, FC Apostolo completed construction. Fantastic. Let's go and uh, have a quick look over here. There we go. I would love it if you could go ahead and build the mining stations and then Head down here and build these ones as well. Let's actually make use of all of this before we expand further. How are we doing with our admin cap? Um, we're only just over our admin cap. Honestly, being just over it is not a problem. It's when you're reaching like almost 50% uh, over it that I start to worry. And perhaps needlessly, honestly. Um, quite a few people have pointed out that, well, as it happens, that's not the be-all, end-all that it appears to be. It's very easy to fall into the, the um, worry of, of it being everything that uh, you need to, to keep it beneath that, but I, I don't actually think that is, in fact, the case. Uh, we could reinforce. I don't want to do that right now, though. We do not want a reinforcement going on here. Uh, we're just going to chill out, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the Hoido's fleet there. We will eventually want to expand, but uh, for the time being... We can't. Uh, repairs completed. The Lahoido fleet has been fully repaired. That's fantastic. Can I adjust this? Then? How about I drop this? The amount I'm, I'm willing to purchase 10. Then. Is that better? Hmm. Research actualized. Okay. Well, buy 10. Maximum. We trade on a monthly basis until the trade is cancelled or we lack the means to maintain it. I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, clearly, I'm being ridiculously cheeky. Because the current buy-sell rate is way, way off. I was just hoping that someone might be desperate. But perhaps that isn't the case. Perhaps I straight up have to say, look, I won't buy it if it's over five. Um... Let's add that in, and we'll see how it works. Yeah, so we'll buy 10 per month, up to 5. So we're going to nix our energy credits completely here. But that's okay for now, I think. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Okay, who just insulted me? What a selfish people you are. Always putting your individual selves foremost. Egalitarianism. Ha! The Faracor free traders will not survive the year. Um, are you threatening me? Is this a threat that has just been issued? Let me just double check something. Because I'm fairly certain you're not in a position to make any kind of threats. Oh, actually, no. Oh, uh, well, you can... Economically, you are. Realistically, I could just waltz in there and just, just ruffle stomp you. Maybe I should. To teach you a bloody lesson in manners. Ah, oh, well. 
Right, we could increase our fleet command length and get cruisers. Or we could get the alloy nano plants. And they would be fantastically glorious, but the cost in moat is significant. Um, let's go ahead and get city district housing. I think that's probably a more important one. I know getting the fleet command limit up would be nice. And we are reasonably close to that. But I think I would prefer to get some more housing right now than not. So, yeah, I, I think we're going to be focusing on home for a little bit. Just a little while. Uh, Sandman is leveled up. Well done, Sandman. What I would really love is to get star holds, though. That would be glorious for us. Our scientists are doing a fairly good job right now. Just wandering around, doing their things. There we are. We've got a little bit more money down here. And we're slowly accruing more and more alloys. And that is a very, very big thing for us. All right, let's have a look at contacts. I, I think it's probably time that we said hello to a couple of folks. Uh, right, you're in the fed Federation with us. So perhaps we could uh, set up a research agreement. I wouldn't mind that. Maybe even uh, a couple of other things. Maybe, maybe we could even get the Hifnar League in here with us. I mean, that would be quite nice. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but let, let's check out you guys first. What, what do we need to get a research agreement? You're very close, actually. Hmm. Your trust of us is increasing quite nicely. Uh, we could perhaps pop up a little bit. Well, you know, our bombardment policy is, is, is causing quite a few people a bit of issue, isn't it? Uh, let me let me have a quick look at our uh, our factions for now. Let's bring these up. Is anyone here anti-stratification? Uh, no species-wide slavery. Uh, land grab objections. Outright invading primitive worlds will displease the alien rights group. Well, that makes sense. No one really cares too much about my current bombardment pro policy that I can see. Perhaps. We should go ahead and make a change to our bombardment policy. We could flip to selective. Allows only the bombardment of identified military targets while keeping civilian casualties in it. I mean, that's fair. If we, if we were going to war, we're not going to war against the civilians. The civilians need to believe that we have their best interests at heart, which we do, naturally. Uh, th th that may be why we're actually bombarding the planet. The planet isn't allowing us to sell our future, our tomorrow solutions there. And as a result, these civilians are leading unnecessarily complex and difficult lives. We must liberate them from drudgery. So we're going to switch to selective so that there is a larger customer base once the war is over. I think this makes perfect sense. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, furthermore, let's go and check on edicts. How are our edicts doing? Land of opportunity wouldn't be bad. Um, increased trust growth. Trade effectiveness. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Um... Sure, we can even have capacity overload, but that's really expensive. I'd need to have constant wars going on to really, really make that one work for me. Um, so we're going to hold off on that for now. We have now got enough influence, by the way, to get over here and drop drop something down. I'm not saying we should, but I am saying that it's a possibility. <laughs> um, we may spread out a little bit. I would rather not just yet, but it's definitely a thing that could be uh, be about to happen. Uh, where are you? Uh, okay, we're, we're actually taking uh, the rest of these out. Yeah, we've, we're, we're doing relatively well, I would say, in that regard. Future market survey right. complete. Right, Ashaik, I need you to upgrade oh, so soon. Really do. Uh, migration treaty proposal. The Void Ferret people should not be prisoners in the Ferret Corp free trades. I agree. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's have a look. How many, how many people are within our empire? I just want empire species only. Got robots, void ferrets, humans, Hifna, and Bothrians. That's okay. It's not too bad. Uh, the humanoids are up to ten. Well, you know, they're wasteful. They're the only other ones other than the void ferrets who have negative traits, which is kind of amusing to me. Uh, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Special project actualized. Amoebas pacified. Temporarily refraining from venting certain emissions from our vessel reactor cores. While in the immediate vicinity of space amoebas, Flock seems to be enough to not arouse their ire. With this new protocol in place, they no longer pose a threat, and we have been able to study them at close range. Marvelous. We will have the amoeba breeding program. Now that 
it's not as exciting as it first sounds. We can't breed amoebas, but we can now get uh, amoeba flagella strike craft. Combat or will detritus do, reprocessed for a cleaner galaxy. Marvelous. Identified. Uh, perfect. Cloud lightning conduit plus ten percent. Okay. Uh, resource uh, imaging on of the CP zero one LF four asteroid suggests internal composition consisting of rare crystals. Sure, by all means. Uh, we will get all of this done, but I, yeah, I really do want a shike to be expanded. But for now, once you're done down there, I want you to build a station over here. We will grab this, and I'm thinking we're going to grab this one as well. A bit of a potch, really, but uh, it's not the worst thing it could be. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I think we should Special be Special project that. actualized. The tar black secured. After an extensive search of the seabed on Nafahans, using a small fleet of mini-submarines, the crew of the FC Madcat finally managed to corner the elusive target of their search, a live tarblack, the shimmering creature which defends itself by emitting faint psionic signals that produce a sense of dread in most organics, was brought aboard the science ship in a special water tank simulating its natural environment. The crew members of the FC Madcap that came into direct contact with the Tarblack will require extensive therapy, but the mission has been a success. We have collected a depression squid, everyone. Ah, uh, how marvelous. Through hard work and experience, Zephard has developed new skills. Research actualized. Hmm. Let's have a look. Zephard. You glorious person, you. Expertise propulsion. I might have you switch over at the next opportunity. Fantastic. And there we go. We've unlocked the Fleet Academy and the Naval Logistics Office. Now, a minimal but extant bureaucratic layer increases the theoretical capacity of the Starbase's anchorages and Fleet Academy. For our newly recruited crews to be truly combat ready, they must have capable officers leading them. The Fleet Academy will ensure those officers have up-to-date knowledge of the doctrines and practice of interstellar warfare, which will give our ships a little bit of extra starting experience, which will be quite cool. But it's the Naval Logistics Office that I'm really looking forward to there. We could massively pump our fleets again, if I wanted to. Regenerative hull tissue is especially nice. It is fantastically expensive, though. Fantastically expensive. Um, business Management Nexus. I think we're going to grab this one, though. It's been a while, and we could definitely use the upgrade. We've got a lot of things like that, actually. Um, could pump the fleet command limit up. No, we're going to go with uh, Business Management Nexus for now. Uh, do we have anyone who has that particular specialization? I don't think we do. No, we, we've got very few people with any kind of specialization in the, in the social sciences. Uh, which is a bit of a failing, honestly, I, I feel. We need to uh, ensure that our education programs give a little bit more of a priority to that in the future. We can't allow it to be a uh, uh, an unknown voodoo science. No, no, no. Combat detritus Knowledge reprocessed. leads to power, and power leads galaxy. to profits. Uh, there we are. Got more UV lasers, ceramo metal materials. Good times. Going to these wars really, really does help quite an enormous amount. Uh, we should be researching this one. It won't take us too long, I don't think. So, on the whole, fairly happy with that. Now then. Incoming transmission. Here we go. The Rafari Star Dynasty would like to cooperate more closely with the Sangwan League. Leaving aside the question of membership, would you consider granting us associate status? Uh, I mean, you're a militarist, xenophobe, authoritarian, but uh, sure, if, if I can perhaps help educate you in some way. I'm I'm aboard with this. A foreign uh, federation has oh. consolidated. Oh. Uh oh. Uh join the Stellar Axis. They will stand unified against their enemies. Oh well damn, they just left our group. I was just about to try our oh, poop. Okay. Well that's unfortunate to say the very least. Well, that was that was really bad timing. I was just a moment too late. Still, they are happy with us. Let's see if we can't get something. Commercial pact will open the doors. Let's get a commercial pact. Sure, it'll cost me a little bit, but uh, we'll both get some decent things out of it. Mostly you, let's be perfectly honest. You'll mostly get the good stuff here. Uh, I can also offer a wee trade, maybe? 
Um, to grease the wheels? I said, wait, it's not going to be consumer goods. No one wants my... Oh! Oh! Someone wants my consumer goods! Oh, fantastic! Let's sell our future solutions! I wouldn't mind a little bit of cash. Uh, though I don't really need it. Let's let's be honest now. We'll, we'll confirm. We're just going to send you a gift. To to celebrate our commercial pack. This is this is this is a flavor of the tomorrow solutions you're gonna be able to get from us. Ah, oh, it's gonna be grand. A fine gift, Void Ferrets. You have our thanks. And hopefully your ear. Let's have a look. There we are, 179. Yes. Research agreement. There we go. Yes. Let's maintain very close trade with, with them. I think that would be the wisest thing. Now, is there something similar? Can I have this for, like, I, I want a version of this for branch offices. Truly, I do. Like, massively, I want that. Uh, oh, well. Uh, let's have a look. So, Hifnus is by far one of the best places. Can I have a look at trade routes? Can I have a look at uh, sector map mode? What I want. Empire map mode. Diplomatic. Opinion. AI attitude. Neighbor map mode. Unions. Well, I don't really need the unions up, but um, let's turn that off for now. Um, diplomatic map mode. Most people are quite happy with me, and that's a nice place to be. Opinion map mode. Yeah, a lot of the the, the world is happy with me. I like that a lot. Um, but let's stick in uh, Empire map mode. I really, really, really was hoping that I could just very quickly see who had the best trade potential. Oh, if I just hover over them, okay. 15, that's reasonable. Zom has got a reasonable amount there. I approve of Zom quite a lot. Uh, let's check down here. Six, uh, I believe ours is on Sol and Finu. 14 there, 10, that's not bad. 18, six, three, You've got nothing over there. Hmm. I'm assuming this is where... Am I not? Zoom in. It appears not. Which planet have you got things set up? Um, Venus there, and it is all of the 18 year. Okay, I mean, perhaps we could get a, another one set up here. And the more we have, the, the stronger the bond between our empires, I feel. Um... Zom was the one that we really were thinking of there. 15. Yeah, I mean, that's a reasonable amount. Ah, uh, it's split over two separate areas. That's less reasonable. How much would it cost me? 3,150. No. No. That's way too much for the benefit I would get from it. But over here, now we're talking. Let's have a look at your planets. Let's see if you've got any particularly... Ridiculously valuable ones. Five. Nothing there. Ninety. You can just scarcely see it, but you can see it. I mean, I'd be happy to get... Uh, it's going to be spread out. No, it isn't. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Gonji. Can I get one over here? It's going to cost me still the same amount. It doesn't seem that it gets more than 3,150. Fine. Establish a branch office, please. Yes. There we go. And immediately following that, uh, I would like to get some more money, frankly. Uh, though that being said, I could perhaps get a private military industry, generate myself a little bit more uh, alloys. I'd certainly be getting them for a cheaper amount doing that. Uh, unity would also be nice. Or resource uh, research. Uh, let's have a look. Food, perhaps. Um... Branch office value increases by 25%. Mm, that's not a bad choice. And gives them a merchant job. And merchants are actually really, really, really nice. Now let's have a look at your planetary summary. You're producing quite a lot. Oh yeah, you've gone through three of them. That makes sense. Uh, your population is, is really quite nice. I don't know. I... It seems like a lot to spend on just getting two extra alloys, but honestly, that would help. And it would reduce my... It would take a little bit of extra energy, but it would generate a decent chunk there. 
Alternatively, I could just straight up make money. And from that, I would also get to, well, a little bit more than two, depending on the, the current market rate. Might not be a bad move to do. Uh, it would give them some amenities, and they would possibly eventually rely on those amenities. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with that. That's, that's, that's a decent chunk of amenities that they'll be getting from that. And I want to, I want to make them um, reliant on the amount that I'm, I'm sending them. On, the, on the, the amount of jobs and or just straight up um, items that my branch offices are creating. Because it decreases the chance that they ever want to go to war and lose it. While remarkable on the surface, the CP01LF4 asteroid has a hollow core lined with industrial valuable, uh, industrially valuable crystals. Like a gigantic geode hung in the stars. With special in instructions prepared by science officer Lord Twifflebat, any future mining platform should be able to carefully extract these crystals from the interior of the asteroid. Marvellous. Truly. And that's within Special our... Project oh, wow, that is actually really good. Uh, Sonaris are large burrowing creatures that live beneath the dunes of the vast equatorial deserts of Patlock. Uh, sorry, uh, Paltok. When these predators sense movement in the sand above, they immediately raise dozens of tail spikes from their backs in the hope of impaling something edible. Finding a suitable specimen proved difficult at first until hundreds of tracked remote-controlled drones were dispatched across the desert in random directions. This led to the discovery and procurement of an unusually large specimen that had grown more than a hundred spines on its back. Marvellous. And a little bit of extra society research. There we are. Migration Combat treaty broken. For a cleaner galaxy. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we've got a bunch of extra um, bits and bobs there. That's cool. Very well, we all share our knowledge. Excellent. But, interestingly... Hmm. Where are you? Campfire Republic. Ah! These two broke their migration treaty. Okay, well, I'm not against that. I'm not particularly keen on, on you having lots of friends. But uh, as long as I'm one of them, that's fine. Uh, it'll take us a little while to get that built up. How is this branch office doing? What's the population on this planet? Not particularly high. What about you? Eh, it's getting a little bit closer. You, yeah. Eh, it's alright, but it's not great. We can definitely do better with a little bit more more time. Upscaling complete. Right, we've got a bunch of science ships that are not doing anything. Right, we've got the UV lasers. Excellent. Uh, okay, well, let's move on to the next. We could get the energy nexus. It would require uh, gases, but it would allow us to have uh, more technician jobs and it would massively increase the uh, return. Uh, or we could go for you. Both of you require a reasonable amount of upkeep. You, however, on the right planet, would allow us to buy more. So I'm going to, uh, as much as I want the research, I really do. That gives us five research jobs. No, we are going to go for the research. Exotics Material Labs, it shall be. It shall be. For for now. Blue Rose Undertakers have finished the construction queue. Excellent, we should have a decent amount of housing here. For example, we are getting a lot of generators on this planet. So uh, it would definitely be worth our while to uh, improve on that. We have quite a lot of population here. So we are going to want more jobs reasonably soon. But loads of amenities. How is... Uh, where's our only other planet? Neath. How's Neath doing? Very close to running out of jobs. Okay, robot assembly. It's good. Energy grid is there, so we would be able to eventually upgrade that. We do want to upgrade that. On this planet, in particular, we would benefit enormously from that. But we are out of housing, which is quite a shame. What we could do then, uh, we could get uh, housing. I said, uh, some of these will give us uh, a, 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 a house. But, I mean, gene clinics would be marvellous. But, 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 luxury residences will give us three extra housing and loads of amenities as well. We might have to go for that, simply because we drastically need the the, the homes. The, that being said, we are on our way to researching that, aren't we? 33 months. 
We could build it in the interim. Just to help out. How close? Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and get some extra housing over here. Um, either that or we could have medical workers, which would increase the pop growth speed, which, which would be awful. Uh, because it would directly counteract what we're, what we're wanting here. But how many months will this take? Um, actually, that's not so bad. Hmm. We'll still be off by a little bit, but uh, no, okay, we're going to go for this. We're going to get uh, gene clinics. Let's get them going. We're going to make the problem worse. Very, very briefly. And then the problem will get better. It's going to be fine, everyone. It's going to be fine. Uh, right, I would very much like you. Um... Night Clan, let's have a look at you. You're better at, at researching anomalies, so with that in mind, please head out and start surveying. Um, where are you? Right, you are good ways off. Got a couple of science ships heading down there, so instead of heading all the way down there, could you please survey these systems for me? And then uh, gradually make your way out just uncover the secrets of this area as fast as you can we'll go up around here i don't think there's a reasonable chance that i'm going to get these in time so let's just focus on what we can get all right okay uh we've got a small amount starting Outlier to stack up identified. this barren and lifeless world is showing signs of ones having supported a biosphere Go ahead and research Market that for me. Outlier At first glance, this moon does not seem capable of supporting living beings, but nevertheless, we've detected life signs emanating from somewhere beneath its frozen surface. Sure. Uh, okay. We Kepler Galactic Hierarchy broke their migration treaty. Uh, so they've broken off there. So basically, this little um, uh, federation has broken off all migration with Kepler Galactic. That's fine. And the Raphistar Dynasty has entered into commercial pact with a, a Triac Interstellar. Very well. How are we doing in terms of happiness with people? Generally okay. The Union of Figyar States wouldn't be too bad if I could get a... Ooh. I'm going to straight up have a research agreement or a commercial pact. I mean, sure, we'll get a, a little bit from that. I'm willing to uh, sacrifice a wee bit from this. It'll give us both empires a bonus to their research speed on all the other empires' discovery technology. <laughs> See, this is the problem, is I'm not really certain that we're getting that much out of these research packs anymore. Um, technology level is inferior. I think I should probably swoop through and I actually cancel a bunch of my uh, research packs. We are benefiting enormously. Yeah, I, I think the research agreement, uh, it's at an end. And perhaps in the future we'll reinstate it, but right now I don't think we're getting enough of a benefit from this. So I'm going to break our research agreement. Uh, why do you wish to end the cooperation between our scientists? Um, well, it's simple. I'm not getting anything out of it, whereas you're getting quite a lot, I think. Uh, there we are. That is set up. Fantastic. Getting a little bit from that. It's not mutually beneficial, I don't feel. A detailed survey of Eulus 2 has revealed that it may once have supported life in the distant past. There are significant deposits of frozen water at the polar ice caps and beneath the planet's surface. The existence of valley networks suggests that the water may once have flowed freely. Terraforming this plant would theoretically be possible, but it's not going to be something that we're doing for quite some time. Uh, next up, how are you doing? I mean, I have no idea about your ships. I wonder if I can get a bit of an idea of your ships. Um, Composite armor, hyperdrive. Yeah, you've really got not got anything that I particularly care to to know about. So I think we're just gonna leave it at that. I know we're not getting enough from you, or at least I strongly suspect it. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell, but we'll just have to hope that we we 
understand it properly. Right, get that upgraded, please, Lahido. Uh, what just happened? Leader died. The scientist, Girahim, has died at the ripe age of 94. Rest well. Uh, Feynor, you take the helm, please. Night Glen, head on and survey the system. Deep scans of uh, Karazit uh, 6A have revealed a large ocean heated by hydrothermal vents beneath the ice mantle, covering the surface. Science officer Jan Basado dispatched probes from the FC map machine that drilled through several miles of thick ice and found water below teeming with what appears to be life. We will need more resources to conduct a thorough study of the many unique life forms inhabiting this ocean. Situation Marvelous. log revised. Let's have a look at that. Uh, I'd kind of like it if you would take care of that for me. Straight away. There we go. Perfect. All right, we're going to be using a lot of our resources to upgrade Lahoido's fleet. Upscaling complete. But I'm fine with that for now. All right, go ahead. Ooh. Go ahead and build that. The agreement we signed, giving you access to our databanks, has run its course. Ah, uh, right. I'm just going to wait. How close are we, really? We're super close. Let's just let that happen. Let's just let it happen, and then we'll immediately continue. Future market survey complete. Yeah, man. Super close now. Upscaling complete. Super close. Come on, you. Just a teensy tiny bit. One more month. A system has been surveyed. Uh, really? Upscaling complete. And I keep losing what I need. I'll be there in a second. All right, there we go. We would like to extend it. Good. Uh, we can't afford this deal anymore. No, we can't. Um, leader died. Oh, right. Okay, so we lost a lot of money there. Okay, I need to uh, make a quick trade. We're going to put this on hold. Cancel, remove. For now. Uh, died at the age of 91. Ulysses has been fully surveyed. Ardukad has been fully surveyed. Was given associate status. Stellar access. Okay. Uh, we've got... That all finished up there. Very well done. Alright, let's go ahead and build over Cybrex Alpha. Yeah, we need a new governor quite badly. Uh, could you please come back and continue your research assistance? As for you, carry on researching. Oh, you've just moved through there, really? Really? And there's nothing there? Hmm. I don't believe that. I don't trust it at all. I'm going to leave my uh, ships go over there. I don't want to lose the ships science ship upscaled. to that. Such a project completed. Science officer Jan Basado has returned from the expedition that studied the rich biosphere of the seas beneath the ice mantle of Karzit 6A. Our underwater probes have mapped the terrain and... Uh, catalogued most of the life forms. Although this data may be of some use to our biologists, no particular discoveries have been made that would have any applications beyond that. Well, that's fine. We have got Autonomous Repurposer. What the dickens are you? You look amazing! Uh, the scavenger bot. Okay. Well, we can possibly get some sort of uh, benefit to go and taking this. We could always look into that. Uh, we've got some void clouds over there. We'll see how it goes. But that, that may well be something we want to look into. Uh, right. Let's send you home to get upgraded. It'll be fine. Ohodo's fleet hasn't really gained that much more power. But overall, it's not terrible, but I definitely do need to get a little bit more. Migration treaty with the uh, Lachrax. It's fine. Lahoido's been fully upgraded. Come scroll the arrival. Market right, okay. Let's pause this here and get ourselves a new governor. But first, Wagaki civilization encountered. We've detected the presence of a primitive alien proto-civilization on Alderaan 2A. Alderaan, in the Alderaan system, our probes show that the Neolithic culture has mastered fire and developed a rudimentary spoken language, but we have yet to see any evidence of metallurgy or written communications. We should consider building an observe, uh, observation post. That would be fun. Um, a vessel of some kind has crashed into the surface of this asteroid. Go ahead and have a look at that. Uh, they've entered into a research agreement. Okay. But finally, need 
a new governor. Let's uh, go and check on... Well, I guess we'll just go for leaders. Governors. Just about make it. Uh, clear tower blocker. Extended life. Building cost, district cost, planet build speed. I mean, this is the best of all of them. So, Governor, uh, let, up, let up them. Or we could take a Ferrocorp Governor. I don't think there's any particular uh, benefit, really. Uh, upkeep is the same. Empire size plus 10.5%. Uh, no, we'll get uh, one of our first. First non Ferrocorp leaders. I mean, we have got one other human scientist, but this, this governor is a little bit different. Uh, very well. You shall be Governor McBride. There we are. Welcome. Uh, I need to get you in an actual planet and sector. And sectors. There you go. And then let's go back to the planets and sector screen because I haven't seen this one before. Uh, disabled sector auto build disabled. Yeah, let's leave that off. Um. Stockpile. Amount of resources stockpiled in the sector. Sector stockpiles can be used by the current sector folk as for planetary construction. Uh, no, we're alright, I think, for the most part. Create vessel. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Can I create vassal, uh, vassal from the core sector? No, I, I kind of like that, actually. We'll see how it goes. But Market that isn't going to help us up too much, really. Uh, the measured surface of temperature on Impan 6 is in the hundreds of degrees, despite its frozen surface. What could be causing these discrepancies? I don't know, but hopefully soon you will find out for me. Right, our constructor ship is almost done, done it. Crash Scoutcraft. A small scoutcraft of some kind plowed into the surface of this asteroid millennia ago, creating a shallow canyon. There is no visible cockpit on the ship, leading our scientists to believe it was either piloted by remote or through some kind of primitive artificial intelligence. Although it's too damaged to be salvaged, the ship hasn't been picked clean by looters yet. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Uh, there we are, well done, go ahead and immediately build this, and then promptly move over there. I think it is time for us to colonize a new world. I truly do. Pop amenity usage plus 10%, pop upkeep plus 10%. It would be fine, 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 fine. We could send this, uh, this could be a, uh, a human uh, populated world, actually, they, since you seem so well equipped for it. Hmm. We'd need a little bit more alloys to make this happen, but uh, sure, we could do this. I think that would be rather awesome, in fact. Complete. We've just got to wait a little bit to get the alloys. We, oh, well, no, we don't. Poop! We just started upgrading the Pirates of Deterrent fleet. That's fine. Uh, you finished constructing that. Well, go ahead. Ships and, Oh, well, you're already working on it. Despite the seemingly frozen surface of Impan 6, the planet's orbital path around Impan leaves it blistering Research at several hundred nice. degrees. Under normal circumstances, this would sublimate the ice on Impan. However, extreme gravitational pressure exerted by the planet's ultra-dense core keeps the water in a solid state, resulting in a planet of fiery hot ice. How marvellous! I think that's fantastic myself. All right, you go up there. And just chill for a little bit. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Research complexes. Uh, okay, well. Got a couple of things we can have a look at. Plasma throwers, which have 100% armor damage, but no, well, significantly less shield damage. Uh, and good hull damage, too. So if you could get past the shields and then deploy those, oof, that would be painful. Proved reactor booster. Research station output, improved deflectors. Cloud lightning. It's a large weapon only, but it has 100% shield penetration and armor penetration. It'll do anything from 1 to 136 damage, but it will flat out do that to the ship's hull, which has no damage mitigation. I don't think that would be a bad choice, really. I think it might be a good choice. Takes a bit of time to research it, but I think this would be a marvellous, marvellous thing to add. Uh, okay, well... Hmm. I'm tempted to go for it. I really am. The research station output, though, would be pretty nice. Especially considering how much we're getting. 18 there. 27 there. 
eight there. Actually, it's not as big of a deal as, as I would have thought. Okay, no, we're going to go for for the cloud lightning conduits then. In that case, let's get that going. And leader has died. Scientist Zephard. Rip Zephard. Much sad. Be and especially because we don't have anyone to take your place. Uh, survey speed. Hmm. Yes, okay. Dave, son of Nock, shall be hired. Let's get you set up, Dave. You shall be Derek. Derek, welcome. There we are. Now, let's uh, go ahead and check this out. Have we got anything there? No. Head on down here, research this project, then head on to research this one, then finally to research that one. You've got a long, long trip ahead of you. It's true. Uh, right, there's no point in heading over there, so we're going to survey all of these systems if we can. If we still can, we'll go for that one, but I very much doubt we'll be able to at that point. So we'll just take care of these ones for now. Where's Yukafin? Yukafin is finally almost there. Oh, it's taking so long. Uh, once you are done, how is that going, actually? Oh, really? Zephard is gone. Faino has died at the, the extremely ripe age of 100. Faino, well done. For a species that has a limited lifespan, you did very, very well. Uh, sapient AI assistant, research speed plus 10%, survey speed plus 20, and anomaly research speed plus 30. Wow. Abil, daughter of Jacka. Let's get you in there. We're going to see a lot of uh, dying leaders because we had a lot of of leaders around the same time. Uh, you shall be Lex C. Welcome. Uh, right, Night Glen. I've got to be honest, the Night Glen is... <laughs> they must be getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit sick and tired of getting leaders and then having them die like two or three years later. <laughs> it's happened a lot. The poor old crew of the Night Glen. Yes, get up there. Close that off for us. Um, and then we'll come back Outlier down and start expanding out a little bit more. Strong entry emissions of an unknown Research origin make this actualized. asteroid stand out from, from its peers. Very well. Let's check it out. Business management nexus has been researched. Marvellous. Uh, regenerative health issue would be grand. I'm not going to lie. It would be really good. Hyper entertainment forums. Mm, no, not something I'm looking for. Uh, being able to remove dense jungle would be possibly good. Have we got any planets that require dense jungle removal? Let's have a quick glance. Have you got any... No, you've got nothing there. How about you? Yes, you do. That extra ten years is nice, but let's get rid of that jungle. Let's expand out a little bit. Ah, so many dead scientists. It, it does, it does, it is a quite sad. Uh, there we are, well done. And the map the stars edict is gone. Well, we're just going to refresh that one then. Don't want to be without that. I could get farming subsidies for 200 influence. Ah, it's not really something I want to do just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get his Mac colonized, though. I believe we now have everything that we need. And it's going to be one of the, the first worlds to be colonized by humans. And Sismac Prime shall be named the uh, Zarellis, Planet Zarellis. Hopefully I've got that right. There we go. Let's get that made. Hopefully one of our stations just kicked into gear. Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay, not bad at all. We're still holding on to that ascension perk because I really, really want to be able to build habitats. This particular asteroid is an extrasolar capture and appears to have been washed by some kind of exotic radiation as it plummeted through interstellar space before finally setting in the Karzit system. The original source of the radiation remains unknown, but the FC math machine has been able to pick up a wealth of physics data by studying the asteroid's energy emissions. Well, isn't that just lovely? I approve. Uh, okay, well, we're expanding out reasonably well. Have they really taken it? Oh, I think they have. Well, that is fantastically frustrating. So Someone else researched that one. Well, we lost the tree of life. How annoying. Um, oh, no, no, life tree protectors are still there. Never mind, never mind, never mind. That's probably what we need to take care of. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at you. Well done. Oh, science ships are moving around slowly at the moment, but it's 
generally, okay. Uh, I really... Ooh. Yes, we, we're, we're shy on housing. It's causing us a bit of a problem, but... Uh, honestly, on the whole, we're probably doing okay. We're probably still doing fairly well. We've got a bit of unemployment... Migration. Reduces monthly pop growth by 1.18. Immigration pull, 19. Free jobs, high stability. Emigration push, 50. Overcrowding. Yeah, eventually that's just going to sort itself out. We're still waiting on research to make this a little bit better. But we're right there. Two months away from getting extra housing at all city districts. And so that'll be five extra houses here in Neath. But here we go. Let's have a look at you. If we upgrade this, we'll get some really good jobs. And we will hopefully... Yeah, we'll double the amount of the jobs there. So go ahead, do that. And then... Now it's going to require the, the upkeep. Oh, actually, we've got two exotic gases per... Huh. I mean, that wouldn't be bad. Sure. Make it happen. Invest. Get it all done, please and thank Research you. Actualized. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's have a quick look. Civilian fabricators would give us a more... System has been right, surveyed. There we go. Star Fortress. Oh, right. Yeah. We aren't up to Star... Is it Star Fortress that gives us... Let me just double check that. Maybe I was a little bit off in my... Uh, predictions of what we needed. Let me just double check. What do we need for... Let's have a look. Where are we? Voidborn. No, it's Star Fortress technology. That is what we need. That right there is what we want. Star Fortress is please. It's going to take us an inordinate amount of time. 62 months, but oh my lord, will it be worth it. Though, that being said, the amount of alloys that are probably going to be required to do anything with it... Hmm. Yeah. Probably a bit of a rough one, that. Probably a bit of a rough one. Um, I'm thinking of having a quick chat around my neighbours, though. Seeing if we can't uh, do a little bit of uh, work. Let's have, a, let's have a quick talk with you. Let's offer a trade deal. Do you need consumer goods? Tomorrow solutions? No. No, you do not. It's quite sad. Um, I could trade some volatile modes. You want those a lot, as it happens. I don't want to give you that money, though. Uh, what I would like in exchange... Yeah, you're not going to do that. <laughs> that is a shame. That would have been very good. But, uh, sure, I'm going to get a good chunk of cash from you for this. 1,500 for 100 volatile notes. There you go. See how that goes? There we go. I like having a little bit of cash in the bank, you see. Uh, volatile moats, how much do they usually cost? 10 for 120. So yeah, we did get a good deal there. We got a reason, quite a reasonable deal, actually. Um, free market, that's... Oh, I could just get 250 straight up. Yeah, okay. I'm going to wait for that price to drop down. Uh, it's going to take a while. It'll definitely take a while. But for the time Future being, it shouldn't complete. be too bad. I don't think. Hopefully, we'll be able to get up to a point where we can upgrade this station soon. Or sooner, at the very least. Special project the crew of the FC Madcat has managed to collect a small group of Udalorians from the icy surface of Jurk Kudlich. These white furry omnivores wrap themselves into tight balls and roll across the planet's snowfields at astonishing speed. One animal was clocked at over 80 kilometers per hour. This aided in their detection, since the passage of their rolling forms kicks up a huge plumes of swirling snow. Truly excellent, indeed. I agree, but that's where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. I really do hope you have enjoyed. The galactic stage is getting quite crowded, but it seems that the initial uh, back and forth has died down a little bit, which is... Oh, thank goodness, because that, that was quite quite the pain. But uh, we've got some pretty pretty good um, relations going right now. I think we should probably be able to get a commercial pact going over here before too long. Economically speaking, you are equivalent to us, which I'm not super happy about. But most places... Wow. Okay, economically, you're superior to me, but your fleet power and technology level is inferior. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep that being the case. But uh, clearly, then, I need to investigate that. 
enigmatic observers. You're overwhelming in every possible way, but generally you're you're fairly happy with, with us, or at least you know you're not terribly terribly unhappy with us. More or less, though, everyone in terms of fleet power or technology level is inferior to some degree. I'm thinking we're probably going to want another war soon. Simply so I can get out there, do a little bit more research on your your scrapped things, and also to get some influence. I need some more influence in my life. But Blue Rose Undertaker, the last thing we're going to do here, let's have a quick look. Uh, should we get... Mm, this is a bit of a question here. I could go for upkeep to generate even... Uh, sorry, energy grid to, to generate even more... Um, items there, or I could get the synthetic crystal plant. We're producing exotic gases. Synthet synthetic crystals would be nice. Um, that's honestly a tricky one. The other thing, of course, is we could get an alloy foundry. And I really think we need one. Eventually, once we've got enough systems we are definitely going to be popping down more um specialized planet certainly habitats that's kind of the big reason why i want habitats they're going to make specializing super easy and then we can save our plants for other things uh, because if i just fill a place with alloy foundries then i can just put down specific things for that or, or minerals so on and so forth it should work Market out quite outlier, well identified. but uh ooh, despite recent skill improvements owing to accumulated experience and matthew seems to be approaching the limits of their abilities so oh, that's quite quite the same uh one of the small moonlets orbiting the gas giant has been identified as a promising mining site a more thorough survey will have to be conducted that's fine we'll take care of that let's have a look at you what level are you six of nine Arrested about I how old are you, Matthew? Age seventy two. You're gonna be with us for seven, for a long while. Um resilient. Yeah, you're gonna be with us for a long I'm sorry, Matthew. And this is gonna be a bit of a bit of a tricky and an an unfortunate end to the episode, but Matthew, no. No, I don't think we're gonna be keeping you. I'm Basado. You're probably going to be... Oh, well, honestly, Ambassador should probably be gone as well. Um... Uh, let's have a look. Protechnic education, research speed is plus 12%, surveying speed plus 60. I mean, that's, that's decent. But I think we need to start training up a protege. Forthwith. I don't think that you two are... I'm, I'm not going to kick out a 101-year-old scientist who has served us faithfully. Really, should I kick out a 72-year-old scientist? You've probably only been serving us faithfully for 30 years, though, so it's a little bit less of a, of a big deal. But, um... Let's have a look at you. Death chance monthly. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Oh. Age is under 115%. Right, right, right. I see. So 115. It, ugh. Actually, I think both of you might need to be replaced, given that. We're, that's a long time to keep you around when you can't get any better. Whereas the maximum level is so much higher. Okay, I'm gonna... Give me another two people. I'm gonna have to have a proper think about this. Maybe we need to retire them and send, send them to, to a life of fun in the sun. Uh, of course, it would be something like that. What, what are you saying? You put them in the recycling vat? No, this is Farrakhal Free Traders, not one of Dark Avax civilizations. No, no, no. They will enjoy their retirement, but perhaps it's time that we let them just retire a little bit earlier than most people. We'll see how we go, but that's going to be it from me. I really do hope you've enjoyed this episode, though, and we'll be joining me for the next, but until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.